Hi everyone, thank you for visiting my channel and for your support. Approximately 12 years ago, I bought six letters in a second-hand bookstore in Asbury Park, New Jersey. These letters were written by the wife of an Air Force service member during World War II. Sadly, they were all stamped return to sender. Hopefully, he returned home and they were able to build a perfect union. I call the series Love in the Time of War. Please join me in this series to discover the love, faith, and hope of a young mother and wife during a time when the world was not at peace. Today, I would like to share with you the first letter dated August 8th, 1945. Thank you. Darling, Rita and I just came back from the beach. I bathed her and put her to nap and bathed myself. Now I'm resting. I think we'll take the bikes on the boulevard tonight. We've been promising for days and reneging for one reason or another, but as long as the baby is rested, maybe we'll go. Sonia is naming the baby Robert Larry. It'll be confusing, or will it? She's fine and coming home this weekend. Not much to write about. Sorry I'm so dull. There are so many things going on in the world that may affect us strongly, and yet I don't feel the impulse to discuss them. I like to keep our letters on a personal basis and feel closer to you. All I can hope is that it will all be a means to an end and bring a new home to us sooner. Darling, ten months. That seems like ten years have been wasted, but I realize there are others who are even worse off than we are. I'm enclosing your daughter's one-year-old picture. It is the size you ask for, a miniature. She sends it with all her love and hope you will like it. But who could possibly help liking it? I love you, Mona. P.S. Goldie colored it good, eh? 